And now those vaccines will get here in a couple of weeks, but when should the rest of us expect to get our dosage? This is an estimated timeline from the city of New Orleans. After priority group A, which is healthcare workers and nursing home residents, priority group B is expected to be for essential personnel and could get the vaccine early next year. That will be followed by priority group C, which is expected to be seniors and people with existing medical conditions. Then in the spring or summer, the vaccine would be given to the general public, including children and healthy adults. And while we wait for the vaccine, there's still a lot of concern before those doses start showing up. As Mike McDaniel explains, state and health leaders don't want news of a vaccine to overshadow that surge in new cases. The numbers in Louisiana have not been encouraging. Um, they are all trending in the wrong direction. As Louisiana deals with a third coronavirus surge, Governor John Bell Edwards says he's confident a vaccine expected to arrive in Louisiana by mid-December will be a game changer. But the current game plan must stay in place. Especially over the next uh, few months, it's going to be critically important that people embrace these mitigation measures. Numbers from the State Department of Health show big increases in new cases, deaths, and hospitalizations. 46 new deaths were reported Wednesday. That's the highest daily number of deaths since early September. Hospitalizations doubled during the month of November, now standing at nearly 1,300. According to the latest report from the White House Coronavirus Task Force, 91% of all parishes in Louisiana have moderate to high levels of community transmission. Jefferson Parish leads the state in new cases over the last three weeks. It uh, obviously uh, poses a severe threat to the health care system. One hospital on the North Shore is already self-imposing a move to make sure resources are available as the surge grows. All inpatient elective procedures are being rescheduled at St. Tammany Health System. This is the right thing for our patients, the right thing for the community, and the right thing for our medical staff right now. Again, Chief Medical Officer Dr. Patrick Torkson says even with an expected vaccine, personal responsibility remains. Having an effective vaccine uh, is no uh, substitute for the basic blocking and tackling of masking, social distancing, and hand hygiene. Edwards hopes those guidelines will help slow the surge as folks wait to be vaccinated. There really is light at the end of the tunnel. We have to double down on the things that we know work. Mike McDaniel, Eyewitness News.